Good morning. How are you doing? Thank you for tuning in to Stephanie 380. My name is Stephanie Robles and I'm just kind of chilling in my backyard. I had to take the dog out enjoying my morning cup of coffee. Look at that. I love my coffee. Well, actually, it's not my coffee mug. I just took my husband's coffee mug. This coffee is making me awesome right now because I had an amazing late night and I was playing with my girls and having a good time. So now I've got this amazing uh, I'm sorry I'm, I'm looking at there's like a bug there and I'm like Ugh, I don't do bugs. I don't do bugs. I don't like crawly things. So, deployment, you can, I always tell my husband, either you're going to let a deployment make you or you're going to make the deployment, and I'm so sorry, my neighborhood is crawling with uh, dogs all around the neighborhood, so you can always sit there and, and see someone. So, what I do is, during a deployment, my husband and I, we use it as a time for bonding. We pick up some books. I usually get the audio versions of the books. I have the five languages of love that I amazingly talk about. If you do not have that book, please get it. You can also get it on iTunes. I am a huge fanatic about getting them on my the audio version of the book so that you can just plug it in and keep trucking and moving. And I also use the Love Dare, which they made the movie by, uh, Fireproof from it. And so my husband and I will get those. And while we, or while he's doing or dealing with whatever deployment he is doing, he'll read the book. I'll do one chapter. He does another chapter. And that's how we do it. Um, another thing, how what we do is we try to synchronize our eating, which is kind of funny, but that's what we do for the family he may be he's like 15 hours ahead of me so basically what we'll do is I'll just set up the camera like I have it right now around the kitchen table my kids know I have a rule of no electronics at the dinner table that's just because sometimes your your husband will get texts <laughs> don't worry about it you're fine <laughs> I'm sorry. It wouldn't be live if we didn't have this stuff. Good morning. I told you, four kids and a dog, you'll always have some type of interruption. Honey! Sorry. So, um, what we'll do is... I completely lost my train of thought. I got interrupted. <laughs> Um, what we'll do is we'll set up the tripod right at the dinner table. We'll be eating breakfast. I'll be eating dinner. And we will eat like that. And it's just something that we do. We're able to bond with. He's probably eating breakfast. I'm probably eating dinner. But we'll have a dinner conversation. The kids will go over their, their meals. <laughs> They'll go over their meals that they were, or their report card, whatever, school stuff that they're doing in school who's had good grades, who has bad grades, and we'll just sit there and we'll talk about our day. Another thing that we also do is we'll make lists of what's the best thing that happened in your day. Like, I really want to know the best thing that happened. What's your one takeaway from the day? I also ask them, what's the worst thing that happened? Because you talk about the good and the bad and how could you make it better or something to that extent with everything that's going on with kids nowadays like they feel like they can't talk to their parents like I just want to have that bond with our kids and we don't want to lose track of that as well so that's one of those are one of my tips that I use as well during deployments um, let me see we also schedule time together he will call me as many times as he can he will email me or he will write me I'll write him back and we'll make funny little jokes or things like that um, or email whenever we didn't have the satellite phones weren't too good so what we would do is we kind of did it old-fashioned 
where we would write letters like through the mail and it would take a long time to get those letters I don't know I think it's a little more personal when you sit there and you take pen to paper and you just write a nice letter and I used to spray the little perfume on the letter so that it could smell like me and he'd remember me and things like that um but those are some of the tips that I use to kind of keep it together because I have been married to this wonderful man of mine for almost 15 years. So you can always use a little refresher. So doing things like that, thinking outside of the box to, to kind of minimize it and try and make that better, that connection better, even though it could be 15,000 miles away, it could be not. And it makes it a little bit more doable and easier. I also recently picked up a book with the um, 30 prayers for my husband. Uh, he has the one for the wife. I have the one for the husband. And at night, I usually say my prayers before my bed and then before I meditate. And we both kind of take turns saying those prayers to each other just to help strengthen our bond as a married couple. We all have those things and I definitely try to set an, a little bit of time for just maybe once or twice a month when he is home to just date my husband. Like it's hugely important. Even with four kids, I got to still find that time to, to bond and talk about our day. We cook together sometimes as well. And it doesn't matter that he's deployed. He could be making, I could be making dinner, he's making breakfast, but we'll set up uh, the phone and we'll cook together because that's what we used to do at home. We would cook together, I'd have my wine, he'd have his beer and we would talk and do those things. Nothing really changes it, but it's just the distance. And those are the things that my huge tips and takes away takeaways that I use to kind of keep that bond together as husband and wife because it can be difficult the road of being separated is definitely difficult but we always have this this saying in our family you're either going to make the deployment or the deployment's going to make you so we definitely sit here and we try to look for interesting new ways to keep our family as much as normal ish as we can excuse me so those are my quick tip takeaways for deployments and how to kind of make it work ish you try to make it work <laughs> as best you can and when he comes home then that's a different story because then everybody's happy and you're you're just kind of forget that you're almost on in a robotic mode. You're so used to doing things by yourself. So then that's another chapter that you have to go through. But it's interesting. It's weird. You're like, oh, I wasn't missing. It's kind of like taking your left arm or your right arm and tying it behind your back. And then you don't have that arm for a period. And then somebody comes home and then you release it. You're like, oh, okay, there you are. And you use it. <laughs> So, I hope you guys have a blessed, rest, wonderful rest of the day. It is so beautiful outside. I had to enjoy it. I have to go make my kids some apple cream of wheat because my kids have fast metabolisms. Of course, they're boys. So, I got to do it the old school way where I use some apples and cinnamon and cloves and honey because and videos and and all of that i was trying to read the live <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in i hope you have a great rest of the day if you feel that someone could benefit from some of these videos that i make tag like comment i enjoy reading you guys's comments and your videos and i appreciate every single one of you for tuning in with me on this early morning. Bye.